This experiment highlights our approach to cooperative search, identification, and localization using fixed-wing aerial and ground robots in an urban environment. UAVs can cover large spaces relatively quickly, but the accuracy and resolution is limited. Conversely, ground robots are able to obtain close-up measurements with higher accuracy, but at slower rates. We demonstrate a decentralized architecture for active perception that naturally exploits this synergy. Our UAVs are deployed with a flight plan that guarantees exhaustive coverage while looking for a notional target, in this case, an orange-colored rectangular box. The primary sensor on the UAV is a single high-resolution color camera. Like the UAVs, ground vehicles use a high-resolution stereo camera as their primary mission sensor. All vehicles fuse their own autonomous navigation sensors to determine target location. Our algorithms are based on the information form of the Kalman filter, in which the network maintains an information state vector and matrix that capture the feature estimate mean and covariance. Each vehicle follows an optimal controller in which, at each instant, the best action that maximizes the expected information update is determined. One of the UAVs has detected the target, the orange-colored rectangular box. To avoid false alerts, the aircraft must spot a potential target several times to ensure the acceptable level of confidence. Each fusion node maintains a list of potential and active target location estimates. An association process updates the hypothesis list. The aircraft can automatically reconfigure its flight plan to overfly potential targets. The solution to the detection problem provides a list of candidate targets. Each vehicle uses a shortest distance roadmap planner to automatically generate a sequence of waypoints that lead to the target. Feature localization is posed as a linearized Gaussian estimation problem. When the candidate target is spotted by a ground vehicle, the vehicle switches to reactive optimal controller to maximize the information updates. This results in a spiral curve pattern seen here. Each sensor measurement leads to an update that improves the estimate of the target location. Eventually, this estimate converges to a value that is within the vehicle's localization errors. Similarly, other targets are identified and localized either by other ground vehicles concurrently or by the same ground vehicle in a sequential manner. Because aggregate information updates are available to all vehicles in the network without specificity of origin, the approach scales to large numbers of ground and aerial vehicles. Here, the robot arrives at the second target, encircles it, and repeats the active target localization procedure. In summary, we have demonstrated a practical approach to air-to-ground autonomous vehicle coordination, and active perception for localization with multiple robots.